there. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how to configure Windows Mail. So, Windows Mail is a mail client uh, which is uh, available on Windows Vista operating system. So, we can store our mails, we can send mails through Windows Mail, we can basically uh, save these emails offline also. This is what uh, mail clients will do all the time. So, uh, this is a by default feature and uh, it's available in Windows Vista operating system. You need not to pay anything unless like Windows 7 you have to buy uh, Office uh, to use uh, Outlooks. Okay, as soon as you open, uh, it will ask you to configure, but we knew, we're not going to configure it currently. We just want to uh, just open it for the first time. I'm just uh, saying that I will not want to create any account. Okay. So this is Vista currently and uh, Windows Mail. Now it's more powerful but the foundation is based on Outlook Express only all the options are there are the same and looks like we need to create accounts so now select account type so you, when you try to open uh, or tries to configure email account we have three options email account which we're going to configure news group account and directory service directory service is based on your uh, exchange server or if you already have a, a, a exchange server mail then you can go with news group account will uh, uh, will have a, a news based uh, mails you're just going to create an email and just going to give a name and then internet email address which is in my case is test at client at gmail.com uh, you have your own email ID you're going to configure in Vista if you want to uh, if you're if you are using Vista machine then uh, you can configure that in in Windows Mail. Now pop free setting uh, email server incoming will be pop.gmail.com outgoing will be smtp.gmail.com and yes outgoing server requires authentication I'm just checking that next email username basically sometimes won't work so for, uh, just just uh, leaving that the thing you, you just can add at gmail.com sometime won't work the username so better you just give uh, at gmail.com and password now the settings done but still one thing is left and it at advanced setting you have to give a, a, a secure socket layer port number which is 465 in SMTP case and 995 in pop case now let's see. We we'll try to uh, okay. It's, it's disconnecting. So let me go to my Gmail account. Now at Gmail, as setting option, you have the forwarding and pop slash IMAP option. Remember one thing that if you already configured email, your email address, you already configured pop. You already configure your email address to some of the client, for example, in Outlook Express or in Outlook 2003. Then make sure that you disable your pop and then enable once again. Now, back to my Windows Mail, tries to uh, getting the mail. Okay, finally, we start getting, uh, start receiving messages. So, Remember one thing that if you already configure your mail, uh, Gmail in uh, in Outlook Express in Outlook 2003, you want to do that in, in Windows Mail, then make sure you disable the pop and then enable once again. Sometimes won't work, so you will be just keep doing that and won't work because Gmail will thought that that email is configured. In Outlook Express, you may configure in 
in Outlook 2003 uh, but you're trying to configure in Windows Mail so make sure you disable that and you enable once again now you can see that 15 mails are categorized as inbox and inbox and four mails were categorizing at junk email as junk email now you can see like in to outlook 2007 you get the message that downloading is not happening pictures will remain broken and won't be uh, available you can go through you if you want to open then you just just your order you just click on it and it will start downloading so since my mail is my internet is a little bit slow that's the reason my mail is not will, will not open at time but uh, pictures will start downloading uh, as soon as you click on that that pop-up uh, we will show that uh, the for for privacy reason we are we are disabling the picture thing now you can see that the graphics you can see the pictures are back so this is how you configure windows mail uh, in windows vista machine and this is by default feature you can